Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video, I would like to introduce yet another open source model by RC. This one is called RC Maestro 7B, and this is the preview version. We're still working on it. Maestro is based on a Quen model that we further trained on math problems. And we use the same reinforcement learning technique that DeepSeq used for their R1 model an algorithm called GRPO. So we're gonna take a quick look at the model and the benchmarks. You will see it does outperform O1 preview on math problems. And then we'll deploy it on Amazon SageMaker and we'll run some tests. Let's go. Maestro came out yesterday. Uh, you can read about it in the blog post. So in a nutshell, it is a 7B model that we further trained on math and some coding problems. Looking at the benchmarks, we can see that Maestro not only outperforms some other really good 7 billion parameter models, but also outperforms O1 Preview from OpenAI. And I think this is very impressive for such a small model. When comparing it with larger models, like 14 billion or 32 billion distillations from R1, we can see that this 7B model is pretty close. So again, another sign, this is a really, really strong small model. And well, keep in mind, this is just a preview version. So we're quite hopeful that we can make it even better. So now let's deploy this model on uh, Amazon SageMaker and run some reasoning tests. As usual, I'm going to download the model from the Hugging Face Hub, and I'm going to use the AWS LMI container to deploy it to a SageMaker instance. Okay, so we need to set up our dependencies. And um, because this is such a small model, it can easily fit on a small GPU instance, which is really cost effective and really my uh, preferred uh, GPU instance type on AWS, and that's G6E2XL. So this one has a single L40S GPU with 48 gigs of RAM, which is more than we need for this 7B model. Okay, so let's just go and select that instance type and use the usual code to create an endpoint. Okay, so after a few minutes, that GPU instance is up and we can start running a couple of examples. So here um, I'm going to run this apparently simple question, uh, but we're, we're going to see that it turns out to be not that simple. So explain the impact of rising US interest rates on emerging market bonds. Give an example from recent history. So let's run this with a streaming inference. And because this model is a reasoning model, it's going to be extremely chatty, which is a good thing. Um, it's going to walk us through its uh, thought process. And of course, I'm putting huge quotes around that but it's gonna walk us through how it's looking at the problem, uh, breaking down the, the, my question into, uh, into bits and figuring out what each bit means and then starting to formulate a question and then starting to formulate an answer. And this is really funny because it, it's, it says, you know, oh, I'm confused. Oh, but wait, no, I'm thinking about this wrong. Or, hey, let me look at this again. And, and this is really not how we're uh, used to uh, working with uh, language models. You know, usually we get that super nice, polished answer. So this could be a little upsetting at first, but you're really looking here at the model working through the problem, okay? And so when it's done, you know, it's gonna output this slash think uh, tag saying, okay, so now I'm done thinking, okay? And now you're gonna get your answer. Okay, and you can see the answer is all nice and neat and structured and you know, there's no doubt or, oh wait, no, uh, I'm wrong here. So this is really, uh, you know, this is really similar to, uh, you know, sitting down next to a colleague or an expert and asking a question and, and you know, watching that person, you know, think about the whole thing and, and, you know, maybe backtrack or maybe look at the question in different ways, etc., etc. So this is really interesting. And if you ask me, um, I think this output here 
is uh, is super valuable uh, and you would probably want to keep that not just the uh, nice answer but uh, you want to keep that and and use it for you know content creation or or extra context uh, etc you know you could use that in in many many different ways so this is really really interesting and at the end of the day uh, we we do get an answer so you may wonder wait uh is this a good answer yes or no uh, so i actually asked another model so i asked uh virtuoso large which is a much larger model it's um 72 billion saying well do you agree with this explanation so i just took the uh the answer from the small model and pasted it and long story short you know the conclusion from the much larger model is you know the conclusion correctly summarizes that rising u.s interest rates can lead to significant declines in the price of emerging markets blah 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 blah, blah right and feel free to do the same with with other models so this is really interesting because we have this small, small model that can give a really good answer that a much larger model basically agrees with. Um, it cannot say much, you know, on top of what the small model says. But with the small model, you also get uh, the thought process, right? So this model is extremely promising. Okay, now, if you watch my uh, previous video, on um, RC Blitz, you saw me use this prompt with a bunch of Llama CPP code for ARM CPUs, asking the model to analyze how near instructions were used for vectorizations. And the Blitz model gave us, you know, an answer. There was nothing wrong with it, but it was just the answer. So let's run the same prompt with this small uh, reasoning model and see what happens. Okay, and once again, uh, you see the model working through the problem, okay? Uh, looking at the first few lines, looking at the loop, the inner loop, you know, noting certain things, etc., etc. So literally, you know, walking through that code and figuring things out. And again, once it's done, slash think, now you get your uh, precise answer, okay? And for a model that small, again, we get a very, very good explanation. It honestly might just be better than the one we got from, uh, from the larger model, right? So feel free to download this model again from uh, Hugging Face, deploy it anywhere you like, and uh, give it a spin, uh, share some comments uh, in the community tab on Hugging Face or in the comments for this video, and let us know uh, how you're doing, okay? That's it for today. I'll see you soon with more content. Until next time, keep rocking.